Today I will show you how to gain most progress in new ranked system. Firstly, we need to talk about changes. Worst change of this update is removing Siphon. So you are not longer getting 50 HP or Kevlar when you kill your enemy or even mats. This is such a terrible for me because now it is looking like simple pups. Also loot has been changed and now we have normal loot as in pups in ranked game. Like for me it's bad idea but we'll see how it goes. Two last things I need to mention is we don't have like scoreboard, how many points or progress we'll get through I don't know one kill or I don't know top 75. It's completely RNG, we don't have any specific info about that. And last thing on competitive tournaments, the loot is changed and it's kinda different from ranked game. We can show that in last test tour day that was performance cut. Now let's talk how to play the game mode. To get first rank in Fortnite we need to play few games in ranked mode. We have separated rank in four rankeds on build and no build. We need to decide which we want to play and after a few games in this game mode we will have our first rank. To progress we need to have as many kills we can, top placement we can have if we win the game we are totally good. If we would also win the game, if we know we need to get frags and placement, let's say about two placements we can take to grab as many points we can. You can lose your progress rank until you have unreal if you for example die off spawn and stuff like this. So I would suggest you to decide would you like to play for frags or for placement and that's main problem we are gonna solve today. Because if you'll place for example top 3 you won't get many many progress level but if you get 15 frags and you die for example top 20 you get a lot of more progress. Like this was before if you get the win you have the most placement points. There is same thing now but now if you are top 2 or top 3 you are not getting a lot of progress into your rank. So I would suggest you to decide, would you like to play only for wins and come to make, I don't know, one, two frags per game and win every game or play for frags and for example, die top 10, but have like 10, 15 frags or even five, six would be better than placing top two with zero frags. Now, if you want to play for placement, I would suggest you to go for locations that are not contested at all. Like I mentioned on last video, for example, this station or those hills, you won't find many people here. You just play for placement, you grab only frags you must have and you are not going into fights at all because there is no siphon as I say before. So fight is really hard right now on ranked mode. But if you want to play for frags and you don't want to play for placement but for frags but you need to remember there is no siphon. You just go to big places. Mega City, Penzi Fields, Anvil Square, Citadel. Brutal Bastion, every big location you want. You get as many frags you can and you are just vocaying everyone straight up. And if you are in Unreal rank, this is highest rank, you can get lower down. So you just play normally as you want, there is no any specific info. You have the ranking there and you will be placed exact spot. You are on the leaderboard and you can check it out. Overall that's it for today. Leave a comment, do you like new ranked game mode? I hope I told you everything about it. Would you like to get Arida back or ranked mode is better for you? And have a good night, day, I don't know where you're watching this. And of course, subscribe to Playwell channel.